guys Jagveer Singh back with another video of Mastercam 2020 and in this particular video I will show you how to do the roughing operation for the lathe since in last video we did the face operation the facing basically and just let me show you how it generally looks like and then we will proceed with how to do the roughing operation as well so this was the face if I go to isometric so it just cut off a small junk of material which was two millimeters and now we are going to rough the part so what does roughing mean is that we are going to cut off the stock material the junk of stock material in one shot in in one shot I mean in one particular operation it doesn't mean just in one go it will cut in increments of small depth of cuts that we are going to command to the software to have a particular dimension every time and it will make the tool path according to that so what I mean is so if you can see this is the profile that we want our raw stock material which is this dotted line to form so we might be looking for in order to have a roughly shape like this before we actually have the exact wire framed to the dimension so that we can avoid any kind of tool wear or reduction of tool and also can save our time so that we don't uh, make a lot of tool crashes in practical and real life so we go to turning we have the rough we click on rough it is asking us to select a chain so basically they are asking us to select the entry point from where you want your chain to start so I'm going to choose this small chamfer that we made also you can see the direction is downwards you need to make sure that the direction of arrows is on the other side because you want to cut or rough this particular profile which is above the origin right here these dimensions not the lower one so you click on reverse and now they are asking you to select the last entity which is this entity so just to let you guys know sometimes it might be possible that while you have made the wireframe and you haven't checked for the overlaps or small uh, uncut or untrimmed wireframe it might not let you select the entire chain in one shot so what could have happened is this red arrow might have stopped somewhere here if you have an overlap somewhere here one line over the other line so that's why it is really important to make sure that your wireframe is complete and there are no overlaps within it in order to avoid any kind of problems while you are going to make operations so in in our case it's pretty good it's, it's in one short line so we chose the line and we click OK so now we have the similar kind of dialog box that we had during the facing as I told you we are going to use the same uh, tool which is 80 degrees right hand tool for rough and facing it's going to be the same tool you can also see it's OD rough which is outer diameter roughing and we are going to stick to the same tool we can always change the speed and feed rate according to whatever the time or whatever the machine and the tool capabilities are so spindle speed if I consider the safe spindle speed for roughing operation can be anywhere from 600 to 1000 so I will go for 800 as a spindle speed well just to let you guys know this again once that it all all the parameters depend on the type of machine that you have so if you have large machines then definitely you can have 
different spindle speeds and also it also depends on the kind of material that you're working with if you have soft materials then you, you need not to have very high spindle speed but sometimes if you have really hard materials that need to be cut very precisely then you might need some variations in the spindle speed as well there are also the charts available on, on internet if you are always not, uh, unsure about how to adjust the spindle speed you can always go and check those i will definitely be posting one of the videos in future on how to do the feed and speed calculation if required and also about the spindle speed as well so we go to on this page it's almost done don't forget to turn on the coolant and i've turned it on already so on this page it is pretty much it we go to rough parameters and this is the main page that we need to work on so what are we looking here is that what are the depth of cut depth of cut is how much increment of cut that we want to have in order to reach from this stock material this stock material to the actual profile or at least close to the profile of what we are looking for within the wireframe so in this case we have kept to uh, the default was 3 millimeters if i go and check in my calculator like I generally use 50 tau in inches which is 0 0.05 inch as depth of cut if I say 0 0.05 times let's say which is 25.4 in order to convert it is 1.27 millimeters so I can say that the depth of cut I'm going to choose is 1.5 approximately similarly the entry and exit amount need not to be too much so you can keep it to 1.5 or even 2 as per required and the exit amount can also be 2 so entry and ex exit amount tell you that how much distance that you want the tool to travel before it, before it actually start cutting the part so when it so for example when this tool enters right here we want that there this tool comes right here and start cutting before cutting the part it starts 2 millimeters ahead of the part and it also cut properly two millimeters when it's about to exit the operation so the benefit is going to be that we we won't have any leftover material because these tools have a particular radius as i told you if i go back to tool parameters when i double click there is always a small corner radius right here either you compensate this radius with respect to the other dimensions or you make sure that you just exceed the line while you are entering or exiting out that will make a huge difference to have a good part and to have a better part similarly we also need to make sure that the stock to leave on x and z so on Z, it is not that mandatory how much you want the stock to be left. So I can also go for zero. If if you're not sure, you can always keep a small value for Z, like 0 0.01 or anything like that. But I will try to keep it for zero, let's say. And we are going to keep point, point 0.2 as stock to leave in X, which is right here, for the finishing operation. In here we have stock recognition. The default is disabled, but we are going to use use stock for outer boundary. The stock material that we have that is going to be used as the outer boundary, and all the parameters and depth of cuts are going to be with respect to that. So I am going to click OK. Let's see. Okay, it's showing a tool collision with stock. So let's see what might be the problem but i'm pretty sure that it is a master cam error because we did the operations correct let's see if there is a tool collision then it we will be definitely able to show see inside the verification because our tool collision collisions are on so i click okay 
as we can see that there are no tool collisions within the verification it's just the master cam bugs that might be bothering us but also we need to make sure once again you can al always go to parameters and if you are unsure about these kind of problems that what might have been the problem it possibly can be the stock to leave in Z so let's keep it to be 0 0.05 let's say and then see so now it's again showing that there is a tool collision with stock for some reason but then it shows that it all goes fine let me know if you guys also have some problem like that because it is quite possible that it, it only appears in my laptop or in my software because of the master cam bugs but in the verification it shows that everything is alright so this is it for today's video the main thing that I wanted to share is that how to do a roughing operation and we are done with that so basically we covered two operations which is facing in the last video and this time we have the roughing as well so that is it for today I hope you like it and please do not forget to like subscribe and share this video and stay tuned for other videos in which I'm going to show you how to do the finishing operation and all other operations that are required thank you so much and take care